we're going to solve a triangle here. And looking at this triangle, we're given angle A side A and then another side. So we're going to use law of sines. Whenever you have an option, go with law of sines. It's easier. So that is sine A over A equals sine B over B. Now, if you read ahead right here, we're looking for actually two angle Bs. But let's first find sine B. So we're just going to plug in all the values we're given. A, angle A is 43. Point one degrees, side A, 184.7. And I probably should have done some algebra first before putting the numbers in. And we have sine B on the top. So I'm going to multiply by that denominator to both sides. So we have 242.7 over 184.7. And sine 43.1 degrees. Okay, so this is sine B. Now, I'm going to use a calculator here because we, we have no idea what the sine of that is. And when you use a calculator, make sure you're in the right mode. So I've already checked that. I type cos 60. And if it's 60 degrees, we'd get one half. And if I switch the mode and redo it, you see that I don't even get a positive value, but that's not what cosine of 60 degrees is. So switch to degree mode and you see the one half value you're expecting. All right, so we're just gonna type in all that. 242.7, 242.7 divided by 184.7, oops. Divided by 184.7 times sine of 43.1. Okay. I believe this question wanted a lot of accuracy with the decimal. So I'm just going to copy paste this uh, right here. Oh, come on. Okay, I guess I'll write the value down, 0.89783, something, 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 7276. Please be more careful if you're actually submitting these. Um, I can check right here really quickly, uh, but you have to hit the submit button. All right, so that's sign B. This is not a value that we're used to. But I'm still going to put it on the unit circle. This I can do a better circle. Let me cheat. Ink to shape. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Okay. Here's my unit circle. Sine's a y value, and it's very close to 1. So it's somewhere up here. Now, here, if I did sine inverse, I would get this right here. This will be sine inverse of that number. 0.89783726. Okay, so that'll be what arc sine will give you. Where's the other angle on this unit circle with the same sine value? It's going to be right over here. Now I can't directly use arc sine to get this value. Arc sine is only going to give me one value. So let's think about this right here. If I call that theta, and I want this other value here. What I need to do is think about the reference angle. And this reference angle actually will be theta, right? Oh, better turn off ink to shape. So that will be uh, theta. And so what will this angle be right here? And if you look at that, that'll be go over pi and come back theta. So I think we'll call this one they want the smaller one to be called B1 and the bigger one to be B2. So B1, B1 is this sine inverse right there. That's B1. And how do we get B2? Uh, if what I said was hard to follow, just think if you do B1 plus B2, you'll get pi. Uh, because again, this angle right here that I just shaded in is also known as B1. That reference angle is the same as B1. 
And if I solve for b2 now, I have pi minus b1. And how to compute these? Well, we just need the uh, inverse sine function of that decimal. So I'm going to go back to the calculator. This decimal is scientific calculator. I do have to hit func and sine inverse. And you could type in answer. This over in the main answer will get that last value, or you could just paste in the value from the clipboard. There we go, 63.87 something. There we go. And then B2 is just pi minus this. That'll be right there. All right, now finish solving these triangles. You just have to pay attention. This first one uses the B1 angle, and this second one uses the B2 angle. And as to what piece to go for next, I strongly recommend you use the angle sum to find the other angle. Obviously, we'll get a different value using the two different angle Bs. And then probably law of sines will get you that last C1, uh, C1 side and the last C2 side. Don't use Pythagorean theorem because we do not have a right triangle. So no Pythagorean theorem allowed on non-right triangles.